Yes, people, before we start, please hit that subscription button, notification button, and like button. Uh, it helps us, obviously, around YouTube, and um, people will notice who we are. So I appreciate that if, uh, before we start, if you just do that for us. So we're going to be talking about uh, what's next for Liverpool um, after signing Nunez. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this, people. Yes, people, welcome to LFC Rest Forever channel. Um, yeah, everybody's panicking at the moment. Everybody is worried about uh, um, our signings uh, after Nunez. Nunez, sorry. Um, obviously, he's at uh, AXA training ground at the moment. He's having his medical, final, I think, final medical, and hopefully, we'll hear something after that. Uh, today, sometime today, we're going to hear hopefully um, Nunez, has signed, Nunez has signed for Liverpool Football Club. But other than that, like we need to like discuss the midfield. Like every Liverpool fan at the moment is panicking, saying like, Basuma is going to Tottenham, which he's he is at the moment. Uh, Tottenham have agreed uh, a twenty-five million, um, uh, obviously transfer from Brighton. Uh, he's going to have a medical soon at Tottenham as well and if everything goes to plan he's going to go to Tottenham so Basuma is that the way people we can't really unless something dramatic happens along the way Liverpool come in right last minute uh, Basuma is no longer on the market um, but I'm not panicking just yet people everybody is panicking about Liverpool Football Club not signing a, a, a midfielder and, and you know like having arguments on Twitter Facebook all the social medias but think about it this way, like like I said in my previous uh, streams, we went for Mbappe, people. In the last few years, we got a transfer together to buy, to, sorry, to pay for Mbappe's wages, and it didn't work out. He decided to stay at PSG, one million euros a week. Who can argue with that? You can't blame the kid. You know what I mean? So that's that's where what that's where our eggs were. Our eggs were in the basket of Mbappe. They thought Klopp can talk him around. They thought uh, LeBron James can talk him around. And he'll come to Liverpool. Uh, hence why we haven't signed the players in the last couple of years. Now, all of a sudden we bought a striker. Think about it, people. All of a sudden we bought a striker out of nowhere. That we was never linked with in the past. So that's what I'm looking at. Someone similar to Mbappe. Uh, hungry, same age, uh, pacey. Um, you know, like goal scorer, clinical finisher. So this is this is why we're all of a sudden like spending like eighty million euros on, on a player, uh, which what which is which is what what I'm thinking. Like, there's got to be more signings coming along. It can't uh, coming along. It can't be just him. It just can't because like if you look at our midfield, they're all injury prone. Even the bones that even the ones that don't play, they're injury prone. Harvey Iller even is an injury prone after what happened to him the, the uh, Angus Leeds. So you got to think about it that way, and uh, that's what I'm I'm saying to you people. Like the signings have not stopped yet. There's still a long way to go. It's only been a few days since the transfer window has been open, and everybody's panicking. At least we've made an attempt to sign a striker, and we are gonna sign him. So next is the midfield. And uh, a few people are leaving for Liverpool Football Club in the summer, like Emine Mino. Uh, I've heard Oxley Chamberlain might be leaving as well. So there, there is players going to be like opening up, opening up spaces for other players to come in. And um, what we need to do, like I said, we need a midfield destroyer, a person that doesn't take any bullshit in midfield, and you know, um, is injury free. Like he's always available, like Ronaldo used to be in the past. So this is the route we need to go. I'm not panicking because the transfer window just opened. And like I said, Liverpool made an attempt to get Mbappe, people. That's what I was thinking. Like, you got to think, people. you got to think, like, why are, like, in the last few years, why haven't we signed a marquee signings? Like, why are we always waiting, waiting, waiting? Then, you know, the Mbappe thing came along. Then I, I, I put two and two together and realised 
they wanted this boy. They thought like he was smarting up and, you know, think about his football instead of like just their uh, money. But unfortunately, he chose money. And um, yeah, now I honestly think we're going to get a, play, a couple of more players. I honestly think that I'm not panicking any time, any moment. Uh, you got to think about it as well, people. Um, these midfielders have tried last season to win the, the, the Champions League, the Premier League, the FA Cup and the League Cup. They almost done it, but almost is not good enough. So now we have to take the next step and, you know, get the right players, do the right formation and, 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 and you know, compete again with Man City. Yes, they bought Haaland and uh, another striker from River Plate, but is that enough for them? I don't know. They might be getting some more players. So if they're improving, we have to do something on our end as well. Like, listen, I'm not that kind of fan that's, you know, looking at Man City, uh, if they're doing this, we have to do this because we're two different teams and, you know, um, we don't think alike. We can't think alike. You know what I mean? And uh, it's not like whatever Man City do, Liverpool have to do. Yeah, I'd rather them follow us than we follow them, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm not panicking, people. Please don't panic. We'll be all right. We'll be fine. There's still some more signings coming. I told you already. The reason we didn't spend is because of Mbappe. We thought we was going to get him. Unfortunately, we didn't. So now the spending will start and Julian Ward has to put his foot down, you know what I mean? We need to know what he's all about. Michael Edwards is gone. So Julian Ward, do your business, bro. So people, like I always say, like, and sh like share and subscribe. And I'll see you. And I'll see you. I'll see you soon. Take care, everyone.